Hello guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we will explore use watch hook from end design form. We will see how we can keep watching user inputs and as soon as it's changed, we can show that on the UI. Also, we will see how we can make the form fields dependent so that once user selects any particular value, we can show the dependent fields and take the input on those fields. So let's get started. I have an empty react.js project that is using end design and right now it's showing nothing. So let's go ahead and import the form component and start using it. So let's quickly create a form. I have a separate video on how to create the form and how to add validation on its fields. I will add its link in the i button as well as in the description below so that you can take a look. So under the form, uh, we can add a form item. Suppose we want to capture the data of a user, maybe we can say uh, in a placeholder, uh, we can say enter name. So in the form red atom, we can label it name and give it a name of, we can say my name. And if I save it, there you go. And you can enter the name here right to capture the values a uh, user is entering on the name uh, there are multiple ways so one way is you can use the on change uh, prop and it will be giving us the uh, the input user has entered here and we can save that in, into our own state and uh, we can that then use that uh, state to show that uh, anywhere on the ui but the other way uh, that we will be using in this uh, video will be using the use watch hook so that is you can say const name is equal to form dot use watch and here we can provide the de dependency for which form item name uh, we want to capture the values so in this this case we want to capture the my name field and then we need to provide the form on which form you want to capture so suppose there are multiple forms on, on, on the same component so we need to provide the reference to the form so let's first create the reference of the form so that will be const form is equal to again a hook from the form so that is use form and here we can use uh, the form is equal to form right and here we can provide the reference of the of our form right so let's uh, console this one and name save it and if I go to the inspect and to go to the console and if I enter anything here so as soon as I am entering so it is uh, consoling here right so maybe we can uh, create a h1 tag here and we can say welcome back and then we can put the name right if I save it, here you go, it says welcome back and if I enter the name, it is uh, showing there, right? So let's take another example uh, of maybe we can take an example of a drop down and there we will be selecting some values and if the value is, if user has selected some particular value, we can display another field. So we can see our dependent fields, right? So maybe we can say form dot item and inside that we can uh, use a select from end design and inside that uh, we can give the options and with the label of maybe uh, maybe we can uh, select here we can say what are your expertise so label is equal to expertise and name is equal to maybe expert and here we can say maybe javascript and with the value of again javascript so let's copy this one and create a few more records so maybe here we can say react react we can say and design and D and and we can say other and other right let's save it here you go so we can uh, 
set a placeholder here we can say select expertise okay so now if i can select it and if we want that if you select this other we want to show that please specify what is your expertise so we can do similar work we can keep track of the expertise whatever user has selected we can say expert and it is expert the name we have used here and the form is the same let us remove this console and then here we can say if the expert is equal to equal to other uh, then return a uh, form dot item you can say form dot item and insert that we can say item and with the play input with the placeholder you can say please specify and here if it is not equal to the other then we won't be showing anything returning null right so if the spot is other then show this form dot item otherwise null right and here we can choose a label we can say please specify and with the name of maybe sp specify save it and now if i change it to other it will say please specify and i can write anything here maybe you can say i'm expert in swift right and i can enter the name here right so using this uh, use watch hook we can capture each change uh, as as soon as user is making on our fields and we can do anything we can uh, validate the fields right away or we can show anything on the ui whatever we want to do uh, based on the user input we can do that right so that's it on exploring the use watch hook from and design farm but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel See you in the next video. Thank you.